Howdy folks, it's Johan, your favorite little ink spirit, back at it today with some Night in the Woods. We will see whether or not we finish today, I know I'm getting started a little late, sorry about that, going through some of my own growing pains, a bit like May. But, yesterday we explored the spooky old graveyard with B, and I think we'll next be probably exploring the historical society with Greg. So, let's see if we can track down our ghost and get down to the bottom of it all. We also spoke to... Not God? The large cat with glowing eyes? So, let's see if we get some more explanation of that one too. Okay. Waking on up. There we go. Morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey dude, at the old Snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. What? Oh, still his away. Message, all right. Techonomy Tech today. Turn up founder Mike Eggplant to buy postal service. Turn up. Oh, because it's called turn up. Very cute. Mike Eggplant to buy postal service. All right. <laughs> Wonder why that's news on the turn up network. Right, we've already explored that. Bird. I gotta get you now. All like trapped and shit? I should let you out. Uh, nah. <laughs> so I think it's probably not the best idea, idea to let it out, but also interesting that May, who's, I'm assuming, feeling trapped relating to the bird, doesn't want to let it out. Maybe she doesn't want to let herself out on some level either. <laughs> Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. Despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You are a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby... Okay, I'm out. Okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh god, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... Trash baby? Cordel Cordelia. Why don't I just have the baby and hand it to you? Ooh. Okay, bye. I'm leaving. Let's see if there's anything new with the bridge. Love how the shading works. Do do do. Still just the sign, can't go out there. You're not lost, you're here. Fantastic. Enjoy the lovely sun. 
But yeah. I don't know. Oh my god. It's him. I had a thought. Whoa. Hey, Rabies. Who's a good little trash king? It's you. So tell me, Rabies. What'd you make of this ghost stuff? Sure is something, eh? Oh yes, good point. Hmm, <laughs> of course. Guess I don't entirely know what to think. I like, feel it though? Wish everyone just believed me. Thank you, Rabies. Your support means a lot. You're a good-ass possum, Rabies. Alright, I'm off. Stay safe, eat some trash, and common pests. Lovely. Trash King Rabies. Um, what was I going to say? That's, um... May... I very much relate to May in sort of not knowing next steps to take and having a hard time extricating herself from where she was. She's having a rough time, so it's easy to kind of wallow and figuring out where to go from there is a lot. But as I don't remember if she figures it out by then, but I'm hoping, hoping she will. Okay, so we can't jump back, can't jump back down. That said, I think me hoping that she'll figure it out is some hope, somehow hoping that she'll provide a nice little roadmap, which I think is part of her problem as well. <laughs> okay. Hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem cheer you up? Yeah. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Jaskov's up there again. You ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at the university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers? Yeah. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. So more constellations. Boop. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Do wish we could... <laughs> almost wish we could jump on his head and jump on up. Okay. May! Mr. Chasikov. You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it. Come have a look. <laughs> Once again. I would not even commenting on it this time. I like that it bounces when you hit the bottom. This one? There we go. I think I got one. Let us see. Cole, the Mountaineer. Cole. 
You know a guy named Cole once, that close? It is. So, what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. Well, unless you don't call it West and East. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't that a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Hmm, not really. I like home. I like my neighborhood. I like the bad diner food. It is not good. But it's good bad. Like a story a your friend wrote and gave you to read. <laughs> I like the disco fries. So what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. I went with the comfortable, because at least for me right now, I'm recognizing that. I think similar to me, I'm comfortable with where I'm at, even though I don't like it and am frustrated. I'm where I'm at is comfortable, and I'm frustrated that it's not right for me. And I, so I think that's kind of... I don't know. It's, games are there, media, content you consume is there for you to sort of project onto. And that's how I'm projecting onto me right now. Okay, this one? There we go. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. Hmm. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. It's very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down to, into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again? Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? I mean, she's probably dying. Disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so, whatever. Oof, that's all for today. That was nice. I think that's a very positive, positive read on her. There's more potential because we don't know how her story ends. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I'm in agreement. Cole and Adina. I like that. There's potential until, until you are told there truly is none. And even then, who knows? Stories are what you make of them. Your life is what you make of it. <laughs> no tunnel fish. I assume not getting to go dredging again. Hey, what's up, teens? So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system, safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that. Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I knew online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Oh, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulvey. <gasps> Mulvey? You know someone from Mulvey? Yeah. Do you know where Mulvey is? You know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He doesn't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We're d we'll just drive through. Mm. I need to go get back to in the sun now. 
Makes you wonder what happened in Mulvey. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. Ha. Huh. And she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true, we both danced on that table, nearly broke the damn thing. Hmm, somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. <laughs> Friendly banter. Okay, the apartment building. And there, if we want to talk to Angus. I think I want to talk to Angus last. I will be very disappointed if we then are we end up not getting to talk to Angus but saving the best for last hey B hey you all right you seem down oh it's nothing stuff want to talk about it nah okay Oof, what are you up to today wandering around town whatever you want to do no wandering around town have fun so I guess we might be able to hang out with her more, but... You know, I have, I have kind of been doing everything and just pop and plopping along, but... I want to get through it, so maybe... i just go for it. Eh, I'll say hi to Germ. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that's tough. I'm like, oh, I can just do it, get through it, have fun getting through it, but I still want to talk to German Lori. Hey, Germ. Hey. Hey. Hey, Angel. This is... Hey, Angel. This is my friend May. Hey, May, what's up? Cool name. Gracias. Gracias. Much obliged. Angel's just in town between trains. Going west next? Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. No, I can't. I really can't do Spanish accent. Now to the Gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. You heard anything about a ghost in town? You met anyone named Casey out on the rails. Hmm, let me think. You know what he or she looked like? He he kind of looked like me. A little taller, orangish hair. Nah, man, I don't recollect. I, I seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I tell you what, I'll ask around if I find him or someone who's seen him. I'll just say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world. Run by the worst people? And good men die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Yeah. Thanks again. What's traveling like? It's good, it's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the exact opposite problem. Alright, partner, it's time for me to shove off. See ya, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Yeah. May gravitates towards one spot. Well, that's over. No fun? No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost germ, a real-life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Ooh. Jeez. Well, dinner time. See ya! Germ is fantastic at saying <laughs> very sad stuff and passing it off. Okay, what you, what you up to, Greg? Sup, duder? Hey, how you holding up? Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Saw some sp I met God. Jeez. 
they were kind of an asshole. <laughs> Though it says it's not God. Huh. Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring god? I can throw in some chips? <laughs> I'm good. So, what's up? Just checking in. Wanna hang out? Got some date night stuff with Angus. Oh, that's cool. I might hit up B. Hit her the F up. Oh, so we don't actually get to... Okay. Then I will hang out with B. It's kind of forcing it. <laughs> then we'll ignore Angus. <laughs> Actually, I do want to hang out with you because the other friends. <laughs> that feels awful, but alrighty. Ugh, what are you up to today? Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. Proximity. So, what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Didn't Jackie have like a one-woman band? Yeah. Trans world order, give them hell. Twogth? <laughs> yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Twogth. Hey B, say it. Say Twogth. 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 Anyway. This is a party, and Jackie invited me. Look at you, all going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once, in Girl Scouts, to see some sort of Longest Night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seem cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? Hmm, you know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly? You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. <laughs> <clears throat> it, yeah, school's measuring something different. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, stop being mean to each other. All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down here, just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves in traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May? Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. They're like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> Papa Tease? Oh, wow. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Huh, <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. You... Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Huh. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up. 
We're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. Okay. I'll be here. Bye, boys. <laughs> Don't have a lot of voices in me today, apparently. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanted to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? Oh, well, that's... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, don't make me have to do something to do dance moves. Okay, so I can... switch based on my movement key. Just vibing. <laughs> I like that one. She looks very happy. <laughs> so up and to the right, I think, are the best. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Ooh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away, with an eye shot, and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any. B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I kind of like the idle one too. Idle one is just chill. It's, it's, you know, it's just four little, I guess, five animations, but gives a little choice. That's fun. Dancing, it's easy. What's the big fuss? Oh, they look. I'm, sh I'm sure this isn't sketch. Psst. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on that which is lost, but on all that remains. Okay, wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party, dishing out wisdom? Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. Hey, you. Hey, you? Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Uh, Samantha Stevenson? Samantha. I like it. Sounds like a magic spell. You found me out. It was magic. Now you're good and hexed. Wow. So, what's your story, Samantha Stevenson? Uh, studying vampires, I play bass. Calls drop out, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I have these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams, where I was running around jumbled bits of, like, history or something. Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. Yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it was like kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. My friends don't completely buy it. I have this thing going on in my head. Dropped out of college, I don't even want to get into that. And all I wanted to do was come home for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance and then I saw you. <laughs> Little trauma dumpy, but good summary. I've never just listed all of that out at once before. Wow. I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, alright. There we go. <gasps> you found one of the pentagrams! Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh, yeah, you should. Samantha. Uh, hexed again. Boom. Uh, I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. So we did find a pentagram. Oh, it got added to the thing. So interesting. We found a pentagram... through connection. 
interesting thematically. So they didn't lie to me. That means I have not been seeing everything. Maybe. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, uh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> Like, Memento Mori and shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, sick transit Gloria, nerd. <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice? That's like an old name, like a book you read in second grade. Uh, well, a book you liked? I like ghost- I used to be a big reader, and I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me, before he got dementia and died. Okay, bummer. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. Oh, <laughs> May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog, do my dog died last spring when my house exploded, because there was a gas leak. Or when my dad hit a line, trying to dig up the dog we had before that. <laughs> because we were going to move, and dad said he had to come with us. Oh, everyone's got some stuff. Wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? poli -sci? Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... Uh, whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B, B, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm. Yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. Uh, May, ooh, do you want to dance some more? Uh, sure. You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? Good eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language, get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. He knows all about the business. Oh, wow, okay. We're just... We're just starting stuff. B knows. I think this is the less bad option. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Uh, may no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, B's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Uh... I'm kind of over this, the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs, except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow Country? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey Rick, B here drove in from Deep Hollow. Hmm. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm... <laughs> Aww. B, wait! Wow. Okay. Should not have been lying about that, but we were super not cool. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Yeah, okay. <sighs> what did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Okay. Back in school, I would always, I always told B that you were an asshole, and I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Ouch. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. Can, uh, can get to the river quick on the roofs. 
Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? This is bad. You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Okay. That's... There's consequences for those words, May. At least there can be. You are an adult now. Okay. So I'm guessing B will be over on this side of things. If the game makes us run all the way down to the river to not find her, <laughs> it would actually be kind of great. Long run. Oop, missed it. Okay. What's down here? Nope, just stairs. Lots of trash. Oh, love the lights. And there's B. B! There you are. Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know what. This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. This is normal? Good. This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. But if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. <laughs> Neither of these are good. Oh! Oh, howdy, caller! Oh, did one moment, let me make sure the... Somehow the chat... I thought I had the chat up. <laughs> one second. Um, chat overlay. Sorry, I don't know how long the message has been there. There we go. Now I should actually be able to see it. I could have sworn that I had it opened up. Um, no, not found the ghost yet. Um, apparently we get to hang out with B, which is fine, but we uh, came in and kind of... <laughs> kind of told her, the, the folks she was chatting to, that she was not from here, and apparently she comes here to get away from things and dream about going to college, so we're navigating that cluster, <laughs> cluster F of a situation. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that through your thick effing skull. That's not fair. I had no idea about any of this. How? 
How could you not know this? I work hard and I take care of what's left of my family and my life is slipping away. I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know? You gave up on the thing I can't have. I kind of hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit here there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh, well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look, we're both trapped, but we're trapped together. Mm. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Mm. Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Red winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors, and the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So like, actual question. You'd think we'd be friends if we weren't like, stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like uh, is this just, what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like r running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Oh. As someone who feels pretty static right now. And also kind of cut off from the f friends there's not a not a lot of folks around for you know even a friendship of proximity and convenience so that hits you want to go back to the party nah you can come to another one sometime I swear i won't screw it up i'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with oh good thanks B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. You're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes. I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. I'll take it. You know what Fort Lucene Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello, we should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God, the fake one. <laughs> this is sweet. Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? This super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. Best available friend. Mayday. BB. Stuck together? Don't suck together. That's sweet. Aw, oh, and the bombshell. <laughs> We're getting back in touch with what's important. Hi. Hello. Oh wow, are you okay? No. Okay, so what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. Wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. Where to even start? It's just, I've been having these dreams. I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. I think something really bad is going to happen. I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. Where's it all going? What even is my life right now? 
I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. That's not even counting the money problems? Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Why don't you get some sleep? Hmm. Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Not arguing, not expecting anything, just listening and trying to help calm things down. Aloy? Garbo? Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is! Ha 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 ha! Why, Garbo, do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. Ha 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 These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a church girl or Garbo? Hey, last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. Ha ah, ha ha ha. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be... A whopper. Ha 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 ha. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. <laughs> this game. Wow. Okay. Well, we had a tough... I'm so sorry. I did my best to not sneeze directly into the microphone. I've got it to the levels cap, but hopefully that wasn't too bad. Huh. Um. <laughs> this game has a has a way of being very emotionally taxing and then just inserting some little bit of comedy. Hey you. Hey me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Aw, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I, I can think of worse fates. It seems to be a recurring uh, theme in friendships for me. <laughs> Where's, you're stuck with me, and vice versa. Hey, kid. Went to a party, danced at a party, ran around in the rain, met a hot girl, totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag, but all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. Bedtime? Yes. And it said we wouldn't have any more dreams. My goodness! Are we actually going to bed and then waking up? Okay. Dun dun dun. So now, yeah, that's, it's okay. I will come back at some point and do these things, but I don't have to do everything. I'm not obligated. Let's go talk to Greg. Oh, hey, Aunt Mal. Oh, God. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well, 
I wanted to let you know, we ran a test on that army guys founded a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man, and medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... Doesn't mean anything yet. Just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detector stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah. Thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff. Whoop. <laughs> I'm just having a fun tentacle bit today. Steam shut itself down. <laughs> Bear with, please. We'll see if that saved it. <laughs> Some days are just days. That was a very cogent statement on my part. Mm hmm. Continue. Guessing it put us. Oh, okay, put us out front. We can live with that. Hey, Ant Mall Cop. Oh god, what do you want? Hello to you too. <laughs> yeah, the the saving in the game could maybe be a little a little more checkpointed, but. I think it's okay. Thought you'd like to know. Oh yeah, thanks. Ghost wasn't no ghost. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Okay. That's. I want to engage with all of this stuff, but I'm also like not. Not feeling all of the little side quests. I just, I kind of, I want to get through and see, deal with the big things, get to talk to Angus, um, all that good stuff. Um, that's okay. I just, it's a little, you know, got through, what, 10 hours already? So it's going to be interesting. Um, actually, let us, let's see what B says. But, like, I don't know if there's, I assume there's probably not like a go back ch chapter replayability thing. So, you know, you kind of get through the first bit and you might be sort of at a point. It's like, I want to see this. But then there's all of this cool stuff to do and you're, you know, a little more focused or a little burnt out on some of the other. Don't know if I'm burnt out. I'm just kind of having a day. But that's an interesting thing for game design. Do you want to do a bunch of stuff? early or late. Late makes more sense, if it's more impactful, it's more developed, but it's less accessible. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired, had a headache for days. She could, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? Ghost? Sorry, ghost. Thanks. But I feel bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning, and I feel like someone else is in my head, and my skull is going to explode. So, yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Screw it. Let's go talk to Angus. I want to hang out with Angus. Let's go hang out with Angus. Of course, he's not going to be there, is he? No, he is. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Just hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy. A ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. 
Well, I need evidence. What counts? Ghost walking up and saying hello, and me saying, Hey, I verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Or maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. This is basically the entire premise of BuzzFeed Unsolved and, um... Oh, uh... What's it called on the new network on Watcher? Um... But, yeah. what A skeptic and a believer. It's a fun dynamic. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. The park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. Got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Wee. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. <laughs> it's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. I'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay. Better get going before it gets dark. We don't want to leave Angus behind. Or can we... Okay, we can't climb up. <laughs> like, it's not a slow walking speed, but I want him to move faster, because I don't want him... Like, I'm afraid if he goes out of sight, what's gonna happen? Oh, another, like, sort of lime kiln? Oh, and it's a switchback? <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I got asthma, is all. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow is an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Kiln? We've already seen a lime kiln. Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You like, do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures millions of years ago, so like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. Whoa. I know, right? Like, right where we're standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy. And awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. You Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No prob. Huh, huh. So, if this place was underwater, where'd the water go? Why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here? There's always more weird stuff that happens. Find out about later. Hey, kind of what I'm doing, saving it for later. And let's... I know it's short, I started late, and I was kind of hoping to finish up. I might just finish up with Angus, because I'm I'm in a weird space today, and I don't want to force it, because that's not a good experience for everyone. And, ugh, for anyone. Um, so, I think, yeah, we'll talk to Angus, and then we're gonna wrap up early. I might... We'll see. I might do more tomorrow. I don't know when I'm gonna finish this. I'll regroup later. Just... Weird space. We'll figure it out. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Oop. Sorry, Angus. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. <gasps> Sorry. 
seriously, it's fine. Hang it for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most thi dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. I mean, true. Other than the nature of aging. Ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. To the top. I'm thinking about all of the suggestions for how to store radioactive waste. <laughs> that will still be understood millions of years down the road. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now. Just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. Like that labor strike thing? Where it was like the Miners versus National Guard? Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys, and some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere up I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Hmm. Okay. I love the silhouetting. I love that Angus's glasses are still so visible. Wow, we're up really high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind that whatever behind whatever that ridge is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? This was your idea, ma idea, May. You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. The well, last time you just had to start desecrating graves. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh, yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can rem never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire? We spotted the constellations together? You told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something? God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations you tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dream that one time. Ugh. Whichever. <laughs> remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Oh, do we... <gasps> we draw the lines? Ooh. Or... Okay, is there a defined order? Okay, so only some of them are allowed to connect. guessing that one. Ooh, okay. So, all of it does? Ooh. No. 
So then this all the way down. Ah, it's the fire free. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Yeah, I was going to say. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Do you not, do you not know your saints at all? Nah, none of my family were into it. My saints were all like, uh, astronauts and authors. That sounds really funny. Yeah. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. Okay. So, Angus, more of a science man. Or at least decides that he's into science rather than religion, it seems. They do not have to be mutually exclusive. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? No. Uh, it was like a whole bunch of stories. There was this person, uh, Dina, and... Oh yeah, Dina and the Frozen Lake. Yeah, that's one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny things, was good at getting through the forest. She was really good at stealing. Oh wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. It's an interesting way to do it. So, they are predefined, but it kind of gives an illusion. I don't know. It's cute. I'm not sure I love it as a way to do things, but I can understand it. I'm not sure how, we, how I would do it better. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Okay, that's a... I know this one a little from like prog rock album covers. The world ends when it rains. Let's let's go with the more personal. I think you die when it rings when and I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Well, crap. It's high up enough. It's kind of always looking at all of us, right? God damn. Apocalyptic. One way or another. Okay. Not another triangle? Yeah, no. Maybe it's a diamond? No. It's a weird pentagon. <clears throat> oh, they said there were three pentagrams. I wonder if there's one at each of these things, because there was one at the party. It's a... Oh! That, so, for telling one for each friend, so yeah. So we'll get to do something with Greg and probably find one there. Yeah, I'm, I want to find him. I'm not, not in that headspace today, so we will absolutely wrap up after Angus, so we can do it with uh, what it deserves. Might do, uh, might just pick a day and just say however long it takes, it takes. Oh no. It's a whale. And it's got, like, the world on its back? Oh, wow. That's sad. Yeah. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Uh, yeah. Like, that is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. We saw a whale and was like, it needs to be carrying something. And whales are pretty... They didn't know what the Earth was. Yeah, but, like... I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. Good start. <laughs> We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. The stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. People have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, 
I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. My mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now, huh? <laughs> She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. Man. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for, like, a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd, like, try to develop psychic powers so I could, like, signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing? What? Victims of abuse blaming themselves? <laughs> like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kinda old now, and I, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army, and my dad left like 10 years ago, so who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Yeah, he's a precious little guy. Ah, uh, well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. It gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. Or, I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No. Ghost or God. That's... I think there is something... I think everyone has something to sort of fill that, like higher philosophical need and for some people it's religion for some people it's science for some people it's a whole lot of things but yeah that's i think people lean on a lot of these things very similarly and get very get very uh wound up about the differences which sometimes it's legitimate with how people use it to justify things but a lot of times we're all just kind of Kinda trying to get along in the same, get along in a similar fashion, and it's sometimes hard to accept that the way that we've uh, decided to resolve stuff, other people aren't resolving in the same way, and we go on the attack. I know that's not particularly controversial, but it's it's good to see Angus working through that. I think in a fairly healthy way. Is he's not he's not been super vocal about oh it couldn't be ghosts he's actually almost been one of the most understanding people I think so like I feel like if I'd been through that I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or, or something do you believe in anything at all um well so like the constellations I don't believe there's a whale out there but I uh, believe the stars exist that people put the whale there like I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the space between the stars. Like, we're pattern finders, and we'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds to it, and even if we don't mean to. So, I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. I don't know... I don't know if... I... If this might have been one of those things that worked its way in subconsciously and I forgot about, but... That is like 100% what I believe so wow yeah we ascribe meaning and regardless of the universe it's up to us to try and make stuff work for us pattern finders I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God but like God found them like when they were having bad times like you did God never did I was completely alone in the pantry, 
but a few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. Yup. Yup. Oh shit. And, <laughs> and there's the ghost! We were having a nice sweet moment. I should come out here more often. Uh, yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us, in the trees. Holy shit, holy shit, what do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat, like a utility coat or something. Oh god, that's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person, standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic, follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? Mm, that's definitely a little hostile. Hey, I know what you did. May? No. I saw you. Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. Roar! They're not moving and not trying to catch us. Okay. <laughs> Having flashbacks to being out at a lovely little national park with friends looking at constellations. And a guy who seemed to be very obviously on some sort of drug <laughs> in a field off in the distance with a flashlight, and me saying, hey, maybe we should quietly either get out of here and, and or uh, at least be quiet, and then some of my other friends yelling and trying to say hi to him, which resulted in us having to run the F away. <laughs> Make sure that if you're in a stressful situation, you're with people that you can trust to be calm and reasonable. <laughs> we were okay. It was just a bit scary. <sighs> <sighs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get a lot of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up? Uh, that wasn't too far from there. Why does no... Okay, May? Why is reality distorting? Okay. Ah! May? Ah! What's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Ugh, my head. Jeez. Ugh. Okay, well, let's get you home. No. Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. Okay. This has to be the final stretch, right? But I do not think I'm going to engage with it in a fantastic way today. So... Sorry to keep teasing it along. I am going to wrap up for today. I'll figure out next stream. Um, I do want to get through it. I really want to, but it's just stuff is not sticking well today, and I'm not wanting to do everything, but I want to do everything. So I'm going to wrap it up for today. I'll figure out when we're going to finish it up. We will do it. I'll post a schedule, try and make a cute graphic. So, thank you for showing up today. Um, there was some interesting stuff. I really like how Angus relates to things. I'll hopefully, hopefully, can rely on that and refocus a bit in my own life and make good use of it. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. But, we're going to call it a day. I 
do not currently have plans to stream for the next few days, planning on taking them off, but we'll keep folks updated in the stream schedule and in the Discord. Thank you for watching, and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye!